Welcome back everybody, Crimson here, and yes, as you can see, we are upgrading the PC, and I haven't done a video like this since the lost episodes of Ramajama Taylor, so it's going to be kind of fun to get our hands dirty in some hardware that I've been acquiring over some time now, and uh, well, it's just officially time to uh, upgrade the Crimson Rig, as I like to call it. Um, she has served well in her five years of service. And uh, this is the machine that brings you the content that you support in which I appreciate. So uh, I got to bring you guys along. This should be pretty fun. Um, we're upgrading from a Core i5-6500. That's a quad core 3.2, 3.6 sweet spot for the time I built it. Um, to a 9th generation, 9th gen Intel Core i7-9700K, uh, 3.6 to 4. 9 gigahertz Whew, it's gonna be slamming um, so huge upgrade there of course I have to have the uh, motherboard supported it's a Z390 chipset um, CPU so I got the uh, Z170 uh, ultra durable gigabyte board here that's being replaced with a same ultra durable gigabyte Z390 board just fond of the gigabyte ultra durable boards they have solid capacitors and uh, they just I like them RAM here is getting yanked out as well 16 gigs of RAM uh, running at 2400 megahertz I lowballed it but that's all right we're throwing the same rip jaws 3600 megahertz RAM so in terms of uh, you know, frame rate for gaming there's a big performance increase that in itself so that's that's gonna be awesome card this is the first time i'm going with a high-end nvidia card i have a couple nvidia 660s that are in my two uh z400 workstations um but this right here is the gtx 1660 ti in which i almost screwed up went with the 1660 that has ggdr5 uh video ram and you know it wasn't really that much of a price difference to go up to the gdr6 this is a huge upgrade for me um so uh now it's time to uh bring all this out pull out the compressed air and uh, get to dusting because i am not putting these new components in a uh, dusty machine it's not that dusty I, I clean it pretty frequently but uh it's due for another uh spraying so uh let's uh let's screw her all right, since the biggest obstruction in the way so far is this, <laughs> uh, it's a massive card. AMD R9 390, and I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of has that gangster lean they talk about in those uh, beefy video cards. And uh, it's, uh, it's officially time to put this one into retirement. And would you look at there, she came out with not that much of a fight. Normally I wouldn't hold a video card like this, but uh, it does have a back plate on it. So, Oop, I don't want to see the serial number. It's a sweet card. Uh, need to clean it out and uh, see what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing one of those. Hey, I couldn't see, so don't make fun of me. Uh, you got to read those little... Anyways, whatever. Oh. Very easy with it. Take your time and it comes out like that. All right. Intel Core i5-6500. Quad core 3.2, 3.6. You have served very, very well. Some said you weren't going to be a good uh, CPU for me. And yeah, we proved them wrong, didn't we? And uh, this is where you be very, very careful. And uh, take this CPU out. Now you gotta have a steady hand. Just kinda, I got it off the pins. Nothing's touching the pins. I got it kinda, there we go. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Ooh. Let's get my fingers off of that. Ah, oh, my goodness. When you're touching those CPUs, man, you got some. Uh... Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's high quality thermal ca uh, compound paste. All right, so uh, time to take the uh, standoffs here out. I got one out and there are six total, so five more to go. And we'll pop this board out of this case. All right, so we got the old board here, already in the anti-static bag, and uh, we're gonna put it away. So we can't leave out the boring parts, right? Just got done cleaning out this heat sink and uh, getting the uh, excess thermal compound off here. As you see, uh, I've made quite some progress. So, I always like to use a cotton swab, just a little bit of alcohol, and just take your time. And then we'll go air out the case, and then cut to the chase. Alrighty. Damn, it's still coming off. We're going to actually set the case off to the side for a moment. Alright, so uh, here's the board, Gigabyte. Z390, ultra durable. Got it out on the anti-static bag here. Uh, nice looking board. Um, gonna go ahead and grab the CPU. Core i7, 9700K, I'm here to say. All right, so here she is. And uh, it's 3.6 to 4.9. It's gonna be screaming. You see that little uh, arrow right there, that little edge? Well, that's where we indicate how we install it, and which would be, well, if we read the board, the board's kind of like a like a highway. It's a street. It's everything's got its own place here. Um, straight up, and uh, drop it in there, and I'm going to do this with a study hand. Just go in there, pinch it out. Very carefully. Make sure that's it. Okay. Wow. That simple. And watch this, my favorite part. This is cool. Hang on. Alright, we get some force there. Check this out. That's how you know you installed it correctly. Things are looking awesome. Uh, got the motherboard flush in the case. Uh, all the standoffs are nice and tight and it's sealed in. Um, gonna do a little cable management and uh, start plugging things in. Um, but before we do that, uh, probably a good idea to go ahead and get the mounting bracket for the um, heat sink and uh, Get some thermal compound going up in here. All right, so we're putting back in these G-Skill Rip Jaws, brand new DDR4. So there they are, eight times two G-Skill. I got them nice and snug in there. I know some people think they break the RAM when they're installing it, but you always wanna wait in here for that initial click. So they're in there good, and it's time to move on to the next thing, which is the heat sink. All right, so I got the uh, heat sink. Um, Damn, George Lopez is going to get me a copyright. Anyways, <clears throat> I got the uh, bracket for the uh, heat sink here. So we're about to apply some thermal compound. Alright, so when it comes to thermal compound, I always use just about a size of a pea. Um, just a little dab will do it. center and let me see um, I might use just a smidge more here on the side not much
That's just about as much as I would put. Not a whole lot. Just about the size of a pea. <clears throat> you just drop it dead center right there. Um, but that'll be plenty. All right, so we got the heat sink on. I just kind of took my time going uh, kind of diagonal kitty corner here um, when it came to screwing in this uh, heat sink. And I'm uh, going to clip the fan on there and uh, start plugging stuff in. All right, so we got everything plugged into the board. I got a boo-boo from the IO shield, but that's okay. It has the seal of my crimson blood. Anyways, uh, as do we have a sealed GTX 1660 Ti, brand new, unused. Found a great seller. This is the only uh, component that came from eBay and luckily I found a trusted seller. That's what you gotta do these days when you're trying to find a video card. Good luck, I suggest it. Just make sure they have over at least 97% feed, uh, positive feedback. And uh, you know, talk to them, you know. Um, let them know your situation. Be real with them, and uh, you can work something out. Um, but I snatched a good deal, and uh, I'm glad I went with the TI. Um, hey, it's time. It's the last thing we need to add in here, um, so let's get to it. Let's see if you guys like my... So, took it out of the box, just checking this thing out, and I have got to say, uh, more than likely I'll use this seller again, brand new, unused. Uh, shout out to the seller, definitely held up his end of the deal here, and um, that's awesome. So, um, we did good here. Alright, so we're pretty much done. I might go back over the board, do a little cable management, but it's really not that detrimental, to be honest. So. Uh, before I fire this thing up for the first time, uh, this board, CPU, RAM, and video card, uh, I'm going to go back over the board and just make sure everything is uh, in the right place and in there tight. Alright, so we're about to give it the first boot. Let's see what we get. awesome everything's lighting up spinning that tells me everything i need to know oh check that out nice what do we have here the bios is gonna come up and uh start throwing up stuff This is what a computer does. First time you uh, put all the parts together. Go away, kitty. No, kitty, this is my pet pet. So, um,. This is the BIOS, basic input output. This is um, the computer before Windows. How's that? Um, so we actually have a ISO right here, um, Windows 11. Um, maybe a couple years from now, I'll come back on this video and think what an idiot I am for wanting to run 11, or maybe not. Uh, if I don't like it, I'll go to 10. But before I install the operating system, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and update the BIOS. So let's go ahead and fire up one of these Z400s and grab a USB. Alright, so we're on the other computer here. We have the latest and greatest um, BIOS update here, version F10. Alright, so we got the uh, USB drive in there with the uh, updated BIOS uh, files in there. We're going to use QFlash to update the BIOS. Oops. There it is right there. And yes we do. And 
we're going to get a updated BIOS. This is where one of my friends would make jokes saying, don't unplug your computer. Well, thankfully, um, this motherboard has a backup BIOS if I were to do something as stupid as that. Oh, press start. All right. And away we go. Version F10. And, uh, wow, check that out. That is screaming. Let's see if we can uh, get that timing on this RAM up to about 3,600 megahertz. Let's use her to her full potential. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna play in the BIOS. We're gonna turn on uh, trusted um, module computing, TPM, whatever, so we can run uh, Windows 11 and uh, just kind of poke around here in the BIOS. And uh, all right, uh, after doing some digging, I found it. Uh, TPM or aka Intel Trust Technology, which is required to be enabled to run Windows 11. And uh, it is by default, so that's good. So that means it's time for an operating system. All right, let's start installing the operating system. Um, everything really uh, <laughs> went off without a hitch. 64 bit bam this is the almighty windows 11 running on actual official hardware not like maybe i didn't run it on official hardware why would i ever do that i did and it ran pretty good on the z400s but uh i mean you could tell it wasn't supported hardware Turn all that crap off. Hello. Alrighty, so we're already on Windows and uh, installing our uh, chipset driver. Always that one first. And uh, we'll work our way down the line and uh, get the rest of the drivers installed. Alrighty, with uh, the driver seated in the operating system and um, most of my programs installed and uh, pretty much the uh, only thing next is to start installing games later on. Uh, but that's, that's it. We're done. Everything went off without a hitch. No problems. I didn't blow nothing up because you know what? We don't panic. We geek it till it hurts. Check out MajorGeeks.com. I have no financial affiliation with these guys whatsoever, but who were to think a URL link would be the best insurance for your computer. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'm going to go play on my computer.